Hi guys, so I'm just going to get straight into this. <clears throat> so this is an off cut of oak. Uh, this was in my scrap bin, uh, very conveniently so it was. Uh, the grain's really straight and this, this is something you want to be looking for if you're going to build anything like this. So it retains its strength. So basically I'm just marking a cross on both ends and this is to find the centre of the piece. And then I'll start to use a compass. And this is uh, set at three quarters of an inch uh, to, to make a circle of three quarters of an inch all that. And this is to accommodate the dog holes in my bench. Okay, so I do actually have a shave horse um, extension where I built for my bench, but this is for everybody that hasn't got a shave horse. Yeah, so basically I've just tamped the piece down uh, and I've used a non-slip mat underneath, which works really well, as you can see. And I'm just using a draw knife to rough out the, the shape. Yeah. And as you can see here, I've just turned the piece round and I just repeat the process and just get closer and closer to my shape. As I get closer to the shape of the dowel, I start to use my uh, spoke shape. Now, I use this in both directions. I'm pushing away and I'm also pulling it towards us. Uh, and you can get pretty close like this. Um, it's, it's a good technique to use uh, both ways. And, and I kind of like doing that. Now I've just swapped to my little loofahs plane. This is our new little plane and I use this quite a lot. Yeah, it's perfect for little things like this. And then for final adjustment, I just start to use a card scraper. You could use a chair devil if you've got a chair devil. I haven't got one and I haven't made one. But uh, yeah, for final adjustment, I've just used that. And as you can see, it's still pretty tight. So the reason I'm forcing it down here is because it actually bruises the 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 dowel. And I'm able to, and I'm able to see where I need to take off for the card scrape. And, and as you can see, I, I need to take a little bit more off uh, the top side. So now I'm pretty close. It's still really tight, uh, but I can manage to force it through. And at this point, I just want it to stay that way because it's going to be additional um, removal of material. So I just leave as is. So here I'm just marking out uh, for the pegs. So I've actually made three pegs out of this one dowel I've just created. Uh, this is very rough marking out. You don't have to be really precise for this. And it worked out that the the dogs were going to be 120 millimeters each. So I've marked those out. I also marked out for the head parts, uh, which is also 15 millimeters.
And here I'm just marking out for for reference, just for to let me know where I need to stop sawing uh, for the shoulders of the head part. So I clamped the piece down and I just saw the shoulder lines. I do this for all three. So now I'm just creating a little um, a little valley or a little shoulder if you like and this is just to accommodate the the saw to give the saw start starting point um, this angle I've never measured that angle the angle you see is cutting at, at the moment I'm guessing it's between anywhere between 12 to 20 degrees there's no you know I never I've made a few of these and I never I never give it a set angle it's it's just all guesswork So once all the shoulders are cut, I just pop it into a hole and cut them all flush. So as I said before, I got a total of um, three dogs out of this one dowel. Okay, so here I've got a thin piece of wood. This is a um, six millimeters in thickness, uh, and, it's, and it's also about six millimeters in uh, width. And basically, here I'm just creating a really shallow wedge, uh, and this is this is going to be to fit inside of the kerf that we've just cut, uh, and this is what actually creates this the spring action, um, basically forcing the the kerf open. Okay, yeah, so we're just basically going to cut a very thin sliver of the wedge we've just made. And you should be able to see yeah, how small it is. And that's that's all you need. You don't need anything bigger than that for, for this system to work. Okay, so now I'm just inserting the little sliver that we've just cut on the wedge, if you like. Uh, this can be a little bit fiddly sometimes. This one didn't actually go in too bad. So here I'm just using a card scraper to, to push it down. Um, you don't have to push these down very much and uh, you know don't go crazy with this because you, you could actually uh, split the spring part off. And here I'm just finishing up uh, with a card scraper uh, for the final fit. As you remember, uh, some of the dough was actually still a bit uh, stiff going in and out of the hole. So this is just a trial and error going backwards and forwards. Um, I still did actually didn't go too crazy with this because uh, obviously for wear and tear, they are going to yeah, slacken up. And now I'm just going to remove the, the head portion. I've just had to add a little clamp here. This is just to stop the peg from going down, just as I use a chisel to pay down and clean the saw marks up. Then I just use my knife 
just to create a bit of a chamfer around all the edges then i just finish this off with a um with sandpaper and i give the whole thing uh sanding over just to remove a little bit more material and this is why i haven't went too crazy with the card scraper um so i do actually get quite a close fit with the sandpaper but still i do leave it a little bit um a little bit tight as i said with wear and tear this will start to uh, become loose And there we have it guys um nice and easy to make simple doesn't require any hardware any any metal wire or such uh, if you've liked the video give us a thumbs up don't forget to su subscribe share the video check out my social media there'll be links in the description also check out the podcast if that's your thing thanks for watching guys